All right, we are still waiting on all the details, but the people in charge are now ready to spend $300 million on the new Buffalo Bills Stadium. And good evening once again. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Ellis Demler. The state entity set up to manage the future home of the Bills signed off on those funds today. Channel 2's Rob Hackford was there, and he joins us now with Rob, what is more of the latest step in a long process. Yeah, Scott Mary Ellis, state representatives assure us all parties are getting even closer to finalizing this deal. They have an understanding, but the exact details for the lease agreement, the labor agreement, and a few other things are still being worked out. What was given the OK today was that money you mentioned, $300 million of your tax money, half of the state's commitment to this project. It was allocated by the Erie County Stadium Corporation for construction purposes and early stage stuff. Uh, the corporation also approved entering into a 30 year lease with the team when the new stadium is done and appointed a new president you see here to run the show. State reps said the bills want to start early construction steps next month and then break ground in June. The, so the timeline here is tight, especially because the Erie County Legislature has pledged to take 30 days to review each of the documents and still have to be finalized. So that we don't move in haste. Um, like we just said, this is the biggest construction project, not just of our generation, but in history here in Western New York. So we want to do our due diligence. Um, we're going to have multiple committee hearings about the documents that come before us. So you, you can rest assured that it's going to be a 30 day minimum. Yeah, right now we are still missing those exact agreements for the lease, community benefits and labor agreement, which we are told are still being hammered out, but are close to completion, according to state reps. When they are complete, they'll be made public and the Erie County Legislature will have to approve each of them, after which the bills can be off and running. Scott. 